Hey everyone! In today's episode, we're going to learn how to use the IE slides in Corona Render. The first thing we're going to do is to create a new light. We can press the light button in the Corona toolbar or go to the Create Light Corona Light. For IE light, I recommend using disk or rectangle for the shape. We are going to keep all other settings as default and with the Corona Light button selected, we're going to click and drag in the top viewport to create a new disk light. After this, we're going to use the Quick Align tool to align the light with the pot light. We can go to the Tools, Align, Quick Align or press the Shift plus A button. Then click the lamp. Depending on the position of the pivot point, we may need to move the light up or down a bit so it's below the object. After aligning the light, if you already have the light's objects placed, as in this example, I recommend using the Object Replacer script from Solbone script to quickly replace an instance all the lights and light objects. To do this, we need to attach the light to the pot light group. Then, using the Peak Object to Replace with button, select the Group Helper. After this, we need to select all the pot lights and then press the Apply button. You can find more detailed information about how to use this script in the part 2 of my Soulborn Scripts video. As all the lights are instant, we're going to select one of the lights and go to the Modify panel. We're going to scroll down to the IES section. Then, we're going to press the NUM button to select a new IES light profile. Corona Render Seeds has 11 IES profiles installed by default in Program Files Corona IES folder. I recommend using these IES light profiles. They work really well for most projects. But if you need a specific light profile, I recommend using the islibrary.com website. You can find thousands of free IES profiles. The navigation is really simple. And the best thing is that we can see a sample of the look of the light. I'm going to leave the links in the description. For this example, we're going to select the first profile, bold. We can see that the light shape has changed. We're going to click the IES button again. And now we're going to select the narrow bright profile. We can see how this has changed the light profile in the walls. Depending on the project, we're going to select different profiles. But for this project, we're going to use the Spotlight Soft Warm White Light IES file to simulate a spotlight. The only option we have for IES lights is Keep Sharp Patterns. If it is disabled, we're going to have softer shadow edges in our lights. Disabling this option depends on the project and look we're getting, but I recommend keeping it on most of the time. After we have finished with the selection of the IES light profile, we're going to adjust the intensity and color using the interactive render and light mids. For this, I recommend turning off all the lights and work only with your IES light. It is easier to see the color and intensity changes. If you need to modify other light settings, you can see my Corona Light Material video in this link. Here, I talk in more detail about some of the non-physical properties sections of the light. I also recommend to keep the IES lights close to the walls where we can see the shape and use regular Corona lights in the middle. There is no need to have IES lights where we don't see the shape and this can help us to speed up the render a bit. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to click the subscribe and like button. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below. And thank you for watching.